Hey guys and welcome to another No Hands Proxies video tutorial. In this video I will be showing you how to set up No Hands Proxies for getting Google Past Proxies. Okay, now I'm going to start by loading up No Hands Proxies. In the past it was always a case where you had to go into the settings and tell No Hands Proxies to check the proxies against Google and also then you had to set up um, an output job which wasn't you know it didn't take too long and once it was set up it was set up but I know a lot of users um, found it maybe a little bit laborious or slightly confusing if they if it was something that they hadn't done um, before all that often so what I decided to do is make things that little bit simpler so now you'll see when you go to the settings tab there's a bunch of these um, popular link building or scraping tools that you can click on for a, a one click setup option here and then there's also these popular proxy uses and for getting just Google proxies all you need to do is click get Google proxies now from there it will tell you that um, the output options for Google proxies have now been set up for you and that you don't need to set up anything else and, and there's a quick advisory there not to go to the advanced settings because it's likely that any changes made will just limit the amount of proxies that you will be getting now at the very bottom here it will say the Google proxies will be sent to and then the the full address to those Google proxies now what that address is it will always be the my documents folder of your computer so you, you should e easily be able to find it it's in the my documents folder and it's google proxies.txt okay so that's it that's all you need to do to get Google proxies from no hands proxies now all you need to do is go to settings click get Google proxies and that's it that's it set up forever okay so whenever you load up no hands proxies now all you need to do is hit the start button that's it now no hands proxies will go out it will scrape all these proxies for you it will check them make sure they're working and then once it's weeded out all of the bad proxies it will then check the working proxies against Google and any um, working proxy that is usable in Google for searching will be sent to that file that it told you about okay so I'm going to leave this running for around 10 minutes and once it's uh, found a bunch of working proxies and tested them out what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and show you the the list of working proxies and also some of the the file that it's output containing your Google Pass proxies okay so I shall oh, I shall see you in 10 minutes and as you can see it's already finding working proxies and weeding out the bad ones and it's put them in here okay so I'll see you in 10 minutes okay so that's been about 10 minutes I may have overstepped it by uh, 30 seconds or so but I think that's uh, around 10 minutes so I'm gonna take a look now you notice that in the past website list there are lots of crosses and some ticks now the ticks are the the Google Pass proxies <coughs> Now a lot of these will be timing out because I'm uploading an inordinate amount of uh, video guides at the minute because I've been pumping them out tonight to demonstrate the new um, uh, the new setup buttons. <coughs> That's also why my my voice is getting a bit hoarse now. But as you can see, No Hands Proxies has been going off and finding. Uh, the working proxies and then testing those proxies against Google to see which ones can be used in Google. Now as I mentioned earlier it will be outputting these to the my documents folder and the Google proxies file so I'm gonna open this up and as you can see within that 10 minutes or so there's been 19 Google past proxies now these have all been working within the last few minutes so you know that they are at least the freshest Google Pass proxies that you will be finding. Now, No Hands SEO does, sorry, No Hands Proxies does go off and recheck proxies whenever they are um, up to around 15 minutes old. So you're also getting the proxies rechecked to make sure that they're still working, as well as it going out and finding new proxies all the time. So if it's going to find 19 after 10 minutes after an hour, you've got to be looking at somewhere in the region of you know 100 plus after a couple of hours you're probably looking at maybe a couple hundred Google Pass proxies now I know 
for a fact because I've used a lot of tools like this in the past um, with no hands SEO and supporting different users and such I know for a fact there is not another tool that can maintain that amount of Google Pass proxies and what effort has it taken you've gone into settings and clicked get Google proxies and hit the start button and that's it and you can use those proxies in any tool you want um, and and that's about it really I don't really know what else can be said other than enjoy your Google Pass proxies you know I hope you've enjoyed the video and found it useful if you've got any questions you can always get in touch with me at no, uh, support at nohandsseo.com or you can get in touch via the support forum at um, nohandsseo.com forward slash forum or by all means if you're logged in to YouTube now just leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible okay thanks guys cheers